Hello, today I will show you how to create applications with submenus. We will use our basic recipes template for that. We have two parts of activities here. The first part are six main categories of our recipes. Main courses, soups, fish, vegetarian, salads and cakes. And the rest are recipes which will be submenus for our main categories. Almost all activities are custom pages and they are all pretty much the same. So if we go to this recipe, you can see that there is content for it and the feature image as well as its name. And uh, they are all pretty much the same. Here is name, here is content and the feature image. Now we will have to arrange our recipes in order to create submenus in our main folders. In order to do it, we will have to dive into each activity and make special settings. So we go to first one, we take its name and we copy it here. Each activity has its own unique link. Uh, you can easily copy it, it's very convenient, and paste here. And uh, also we make it hidden. Then we go to our next activity. Copy the name. Copy its link. And uh, make it hidden. Then we go here and do the same procedure for all our activities, which will be submenus. We are hiding these activities because we want them to be submenus and be reachable only through buttons in major folders. Now we have finished with our recipes and now we will create subfolders for each main folder of our recipes. So we go to first one main courses and we go to content and uh, as it's a custom page you can uh, insert here images and links and uh, they actually will be your sub menus. So in main courses we have two dishes. We go here upload These are our buttons, roasted lamp, here we choose the size 100% and the height 0 and we save it. So here is our roasted lamp, now we select it and insert link and uh, we take the activity link with the roasted lamp recipe. Now we insert our next image for the sub-menu with the chicken recipe. And then we insert link for the activity with the chicken recipe. So our sub-menus for the folder main courses are ready. We have created two of them as an example for you, but you can create as many of them as many recipes you have. Now we go to our soups folder and uh, do the same procedure here. As you can see, we have created different types of buttons. This is just an example for you to see that any PNG image can be a button for your sub-menu.
Okay, now we are all done. So we can build our application and see how it works. If you need help in creating buttons for your app, we can offer you a nice tool, it is called Figma. Go to figma.com, create a free account there and upload our special toolkit for creating buttons. After that, upload it to your Figma dashboard. The link for the toolkit will be available under the description of this video. After you have uploaded the toolkit, go inside and check the opportunities for creating buttons. Simply double-click the object you want to edit and you can change its name as well as its colors. After that, choose it and import to your computer. Also, you can use another types of buttons with images. Double-clicking on it will give you an opportunity to edit it and to change images. You can also apply multiple settings here, like changing brightness and other features. And after you have finished editing your button, you can choose it and export to your device. You can also use a preview before you download your button. So that's all for today, it was my pleasure to be here, thank you and good luck!